Hi everyone, it's me Jen and welcome back to my channel. Just like what I promised you in my previous video, in this video I will share some unique and updated apps extension and AI that helped me a lot during my uni life. But we're not going to discuss the mainstream one like Notion because who doesn't already use Notion in 2024? Don't get me wrong, I love Notion too. I actually use Notion for brainstorming and note taking so Notion is really useful. And there are already a lot of Notion tutorial and Notion templates on YouTube so feel free to check them after you watch this video. These apps, AI and extension have already saved my butt in uni several times. So make sure to watch until the AI parts and I didn't get any sponsor for these apps and what so this is my brutally honest recommendation. So we are going to talk about apps first and then we talk about extension next and then the last we are going to talk about AI. Let's start! If you need to focus during your study session, I recommend you to install Study Bunny. In this app, you will have a bunny pet in his or her room and then every time you finish your study session, you will get some coins to buy some items and costumes for your bunny and for your bunny's room. What I like about this app is, this app has three study modes, which is timer, stopwatch, and also the break time. So when I don't want to do tasks in a certain period of time, I just have to pick the stopwatch mode, so it counts from zero to until you finish. So um, this is my study bunny, yes he is wearing an avocado. <laughs> And he said, yes, I haven't studied for days actually. This is the mode that you can change. And you can also buy some costumes and items for your bunny. This is a pumpkin costume. Isn't that cute? I want to buy it if I have enough money. You can track your study durations and also your study subject in this app. So you will know your performance during the months. If you decided to download the study bunny, I also recommend you to download the Habit Rabbit. Habit Rabbit is study bunny's friend and his job is tracking your habit. I use this app when I was starting my new habits for my new year's goals. So you can set your new habits and every time you finish the habit, you will gain some energy and some coins and you can use the energy to clean your room. Every time you clean your room, you will get some item to put in your bunny's room. So I um, finished my morning run today, this morning. So I just take this morning run. Can you see it? And then you can clean your room like this. It's so satisfying to click all the bar until it's full. Can you see it? My bunny says, way to go. Isn't it cute? Before I forgot, I put all the links of the apps, extensions, and also the AIs that I mentioned in this video on the description box below. So if you want to check them out, you can just open the description box and click the link. I know some of you love to study with somebody, but in the same time, you don't want to meet people. Well, I feel you actually. So I recommend you to download LifeFit app. There are a lot of video backgrounds with different names in this app, so you can choose the one that you like. So you can study in the rain, you can study in Ghibli Studio World, you can also study with your favorite celebrities, and my favorite is you can study with BTS. There are a lot of ambience to choose, so you can make your study time more enjoyable. Now we are moving to extensions. If you are reading a journal or an article on a website and you need to highlight some information on that website, on that article, I recommend you to download the WIFA extension. With this extension, you can highlight important information straight on the website 
without download them first. You can also use different color to highlight different information and you can also put a note in your highlighted information. The best thing about Wifa is you can put your highlighted info into separated folders. So for example, I want to highlight this information on this journal for my bioprospect subject. And then I also want to highlight this information from this journal, from a different journal for my final research. So I can just change the folder before I highlight the information for my final research. And then those two highlighted information is put into a different folder. So if you want to check your highlighted information, you can just open the folder and you can easily pick the one that you want to see. Still speaking about journal, I bet some of you use Mendeley to create a citation. I used to use Mendeley too, but I found some difficulty for the journals that not compatible for Mendeley. Especially the journals that not in English. So I ended up completing the information about that journal, like the author, the date of publication, etc. And I think it's not convenient. Good thing I found a better way to create a citation. You can use an extension called Google Scholar button. This extension will help you to create a citation of a journal by just one click. So for example, you want to cite this journal, like you open it on a website, on a Google search, and then you click the extension right on that journal tab. Choose the citation style that you want, and then copy it to your workbook. It's that easy. You don't even have to download the journal first like Mendeley, I'm sorry. But Jane, I want to make my citation in alphabetical order. Well, don't worry my friends because all you have to do is block the citations and then you click sort and then Oh my god! When you're working with your laptop, it will be very tempting to open Instagram or YouTube in the website. If you don't want to be distracted while working with your laptop, try auto extension. Auto is basically a Pomodoro timer, but it can also block some unwanted websites that can potentially distract you. You can set your unwanted apps here, and every time you try to open that website, Auto will pop up and disappoint it in you. Lastly, we're moving on to AIs. One of the differences between high school and university that I notice is you have to read a ton of journals for every subject. And searching for the right journals that have the right information that you need can be frustrating. So, I use an AI called Consensus AI. This AI is basically a combination between ChatGPT and Google Scholar. You can ask a question like this, and then this AI will generate an answer based on the reference that it gives below. You can also ask a yes-no question, and then it will give the percentage of the reference that say yes or no to that question. Using this AI will save so much time when you are looking for a journal rather than search it straight on Google. I know ChatGPT is still relevant nowadays, but I found an AI that's similar to ChatGPT but better in my opinion. The AI is called Bart AI. This is an AI from Google and it has the data up to 2023. Bart can give you some links, picture and tables too if needed. And I think overall Bart gives a more comprehensive answer than ChatGPT. I usually use Bart to discuss some academic topic or just random topics. And the last one we have DeepL. This is an enhanced translator AI. As you know, I live in Indonesia so my task is usually Indonesian based. But I usually search for reference like for journal and articles in English. So I use this AI to translate some information from Indonesian to English or from English to Indonesian. 
What I like about DeepL is you can click a word and it will generate some alternative or synonym for that word. So you can change your translation based on your preference. It also generates a clear and make sense sentence rather than an awkward and robotic sentence. Since I told my boyfriend about this AI, he has never used Google Translate anymore. So from apps, extensions, and AI that I have mentioned in this video, which one that you have tried to and do you like them? Comment down below your answer. Don't forget to leave a like if you love this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any updates from me. In the next video, I will share some more uni essentials so stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye bye.